In recent months, we have brought you several stories about public safety on South Dakota's Indian reservations. Yeah, residents have told us everything from regularly hearing gunshots to the impact of drugs. And now Senator Mike Rounds is looking for a way to improve retention of tribal law enforcement officers in the state. Kettleland's Dan Santella has the story. Before I sent that letter out, I went back and had my team go back to the tribal chairman and say, now, is this the approach that you'd like to see happen? And I think that's really important that we continue to do it in that way and foster that, that idea of cooperation with these tribal chairmen. That letter is this one Rounds has sent to Brian Newland, the Assistant Secretary of the Interior in Washington, D.C. In it, Rounds requests a meeting to talk about the possibility of having a tribal law enforcement training facility closer to South Dakota. The senator says right now, most tribal law enforcement officers have to go to New Mexico for training. We think it'd be easier if we had a place here, it might be easier for the tribes to actually recruit and retain those law enforcement officers in the future. Gotcha. So uh, you'd like, of course, this facility to be in South Dakota? Absolutely. No question about it. The senator says a closer training facility would mean keeping more officers. It seems as though if we could do something here, they'd have a lot better chance at actually recruiting and retaining law enforcement officers on the reservations. But, Round says, this isn't about Washington telling tribes what should happen. I think this is a matter of consulting with the tribes about what's right for them. And rather than us telling them what they should do, I think it's time that we start talking about what works for them and then trying to coordinate with them. Dan Centella, Kellel Andrews. And we've included the full text of that letter that Round sent, so you can read it too. It's in this report on kelloland.com.